So it's the odds of meeting Aaron the Golemancer <laughs> are low, unfortunately. Yeah. Do do the name defend the name Aaron's it's, it's very explicitly a dude. Yeah. That's that's kind of what I was gonna say. So yeah, there's there's a few of them that are probably won't be. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron, and for today's video, we're headed to the world of Last Epoch. Mike, one of the senior developers at 11th Hour Games, held his normal Friday QA live stream on Twitch, which means I get to bring you Dev Chat 129. As always, Mike answered lots of great questions from the community, and this was a little bit of a special stream where he brought on Kyle the Lore Master. So there was a lot of normal questions, there were some leaks, and we had lots of lore information given, which was great. Now, if you don't know this, I play Dev Chat Bingo every single Friday with my community. You should check it out, Aaron Action RPG on Twitch, and we're actually live on YouTube as well now, where we go through and we just try and guess what questions are going to be asked, and then we fill out our bingo card. This is the results from this stream, and it is the second week in a row that we failed to get the free space. That being said, we got pretty close and it was a pretty good bingo day, but we did not get it. So we're gonna jump into our first question and this is around fish people, fish men, you'll see. Why are there no fish NPCs in the game? We have bird people for Raya, the Ospreys, elk people for Hira, the Wingari, snake people for Machasa, not the Skellbane, that's actually the Nagasa, the Skellbane are the uh, bandits in the area who are actually oppose the Nagasa, hence, you know, scale Bane, and it was, and you know, humans with the terror. Why did Lagan not make his own people? So, fun fact there actually is a follower race for Lagan, it's the Maruna. And as I'm sure if you played through the chapter featuring Lagan, I always had the like, I almost said chapter G because I've got like the dev names in my head instead of like the numbered names. That'd be chapter eight. So, yeah, so if you play through chapter eight featuring all the Lagan stuff and the Isle of Storms, I'm sure you, you know. We normally don't play chapter eight because we get all our idols and passives in Hyboria, or we skip that chapter through the dungeon. Sorry. I'm going to run into the Maruna Sirens and the Adrift Maruna and the Maruna Ogres. Those are actually the equivalent of the Wangari and the Osprex and the Nagasa. The reason why they don't really encounter any like Maruna NPCs, it kind of ties into Lagan's nature of being a more kind of chaotic, neglectful, kind of capricious god. Lagan just wasn't really interested in making uh, like societies and culture with his Maruna, as opposed to the more hands-on Raya and Hirod and Majasa. And a lot, like a lot of the culture organization you see in Lagan's domain is actually, you know, done by architect Leath, who kind of took on that role of kind of actually organizing this place instead of just letting it just kind of be storms and left to pirates. So the Maruna are are fish NPCs and you don't really get a chance to interact with any really because you don't they don't really have a reason to try and interact with humans. They just want to eat them. Passive tree updates. You have plans to take a big look at the Shaman and Forest Master passive trees. Look at the offensive and defensive power in newer trees. It makes me think that there is a lot of potential for Shaman slash form, for that Forge Master trees to get overhauled. Is yes, is this a cycle two possibility? Mike, what do you think? <laughs> Um, well, first off, you can feel free to correct the uh, the terms as you read them if it makes it easier for you. Um, no, no worries. <laughs> uh, I was just kind of going off the cuff. And yeah, I was going to go off the cuff. Either, either way, it doesn't matter. But yeah, <laughs> I, 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 felt, I felt the stumble because it happens to me all the time. Forge Guard, yes. Um, it's Rune, Rune Master and Forge Guard. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the, I, I think that we will. Hmm, I can't give any specifics on what's coming in Cycle 2. There are a. Uh, significant number of adjustments we've made to passives in general um, and uh, for Forge Garden Shaman have not been forgotten in there um, I don't want to s accidentally start some rumor of a, of a rework or something like that um, but but yeah they, there's we, we know there's some love that is needed there and uh, we are looking at passives um, there's a big passive update branch that hasn't emerged in yet but uh, Boom! You didn't want to start a rumor, but you did anyways. Thank you, Mike. A big passive rework branch that hasn't been merged in yet. New conversion inbound. Thematically, as a spellblade, can Mana Strike have elemental conversion other than lightning? I think that's been talked about recently, hasn't it, Mike? Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, uh, we, we're, I don't know if we're s saying uh, anything about it yet, but um, yeah, I actually have a ticket on my plate to help with that. 
Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, like, uh, I forgot, man. I, I forget which, uh, like, game design discussion it was where that brought, came Keep back up. But yeah, it, like, Kyle. it's one of those ones that just kind of comes into conversation every once in a while. But yeah, it's been talked about. I, like Mike said, we don't have any it's on its concrete way. stuff. It, yeah. Some some conversion, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I will take that. I forgot to say, Mike, nice haircut. Now let's talk sets and faction changes. Here's Q and A. Do you plan some changes on set items? My bad, <laughs> TBH. I would love change level nine COH to get it much quicker, like level four and a fifth. My, what you got? Yeah, so the, uh, I, I can't really give any specific details on this right now. We, we are um, not in 1.1, unfortunately. Uh, we are looking at a pretty big um, shake up to how set items work and uh, you know, you like make them an interesting part of the in game gearing process. Um, we are also simultaneously for 1.1 looking at some adjustments to uh, the item faction's reward structure, uh, the, like the rank rewards. So, um, you know, like there's, there's a bunch, bunch of changes there, um, not just this specific one thing, but there are some changes. Uh, there's like, yeah, the, the, the rank rewards for both are getting shuffled a bit and shaken up and we we learned a lot in this first uh uh first cycle so we've you know we we we, we made a few mistakes and um we'll be making some updates to it and yeah there's updates coming for cycle two now let's move over to the lore master on shade of oribus oh this is i'm halfway through reading and this is a phone i'm really interested in the background source origin of oribus is this something that has been explored in game that I may have missed? Or without getting spoilery, is this something that we might be able to look forward to hearing more about in the future? Or is that the past? So <laughs> another, this is another one where Good the question. answer is yes. So there are currently planned three more, you know, campaign chapters of, you know, the main campaign. And the origin of, of Orbis does come into play within these last three chapters. I'm not gonna say which one of the last three has it, but you do, it is a, the origin of Orbis is a question that is answered by the campaign once we have those last three chapters in. And just a note to add in, a lot of people, um, I think, shortcut the term, so it ends up being confused by some new players sometimes, is that the, the boss you fight in the model timelines is the shade of Orbis, it's not Orbis yes. itself. Yeah, so, the Shade of Oribis, that is a reflection of Oribis's anguish and despair and anger. It's not Oribis himself, it's more so just a kind of a a twisted reflection of him that's being projected into these timelines from the time he was imprisoned and, you know, it's, it's, the Shades are not Oribis, so whenever I see someone call the Shades Oribis, I'm like, ah, oh, we should have named it something slightly different. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. I have never heard them confirm this. Guys, rock you rock as well. Wanted to ask, are there any plans to enable item transmog with in-game items? I guess the system is already there with the MTX Cosmetics tab. Will it be possible to include the in-game items there as well upon Shedder or something like that? Also, please make it available in online as well, offline as well. Thanks. Thanks to you. Uh, Michael, let you take that one. Yeah, uh, we, we are working on a transmog system right now. Um, I don't have an ETA on it or exactly the, the like method that it'll be. So, so there's, there's a lot of different transmog systems that have come through different games. Um, some of them like require a, like an item to be like to enable the transmog. Some, some of them like need to like extract that view over, off of them. Some of them, some games like uh, Diablo 3 was unbelievably open for this. It was just like, have you ever picked up an item with that uh, as like the base model? Great. You can just switch to it. No problem. Um, and then there's like the far other extremes. It's like there's a like a, a five dollar item you have to buy from the the shop, and it it, it only works one time. And, you know, like so, so there's there's like extreme examples uh, both ways, and we are uh, we're, we're still deciding exactly how that's gonna roll out. Um, but we are we are working on a transmog system right now. Maybe he said it in the past. I've never heard EHG officially come out and say it's coming, and they are working on it. It's very cool. A corruption catch-up system? I plan to implement a corruption catch-up system where the old characters don't have to grind through from zero. I'll let you take that one, Mike. Yes. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, it was, it was, the question was worded vaguely enough that I could say yes. Um, it, it was, it's, 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 you know, it's in the no specifics yet. We're still working on it. We're still flushing it out. Alts are still, still working yeah, on it. This is the, in the works. Like, alts, alts have an issue. This, I, I went to this, I did a whole like drawing thing on the screen last time and oh my God, oh, it's not that bad. Mm. Um, the, lots of times alt characters, especially for very enfranchised players, um, you end up in long stretches of, Whoa! non-difficult content uh, like just 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 rolling over everything to get to the hard stuff to get to the fun stuff um and so we want to uh we, 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 we want to fix that which speeding up corruption and alts is the ways to do that good answer getting through the non-fun stuff i like their philosophy around it it looks like it's not 100% yet, but they are definitely working on it. We are wearing them down. Listen to this. Will there be an implementation on tweaking the loot filter to sort out uniques with different legendary potentials? Pretty much a legendary potential in the loot filter. Any uh, thing to add in on there, Mike? Um, y You know, I, I think that, that uh, community persistence can often bring about change sometimes. But uh, no comment. That is normally always a hard no. Nope, we have no plans for that. We have no, we don't want, no, we don't want to do it. Possible. I get asked all the time during streaming, Aaron, what builds can push 1,000 corruption? What can do 1,500 corruption? Can this build do 900? I need you all to listen to this. Is there a corruption level that the dev team considers a good build? I believe CLF prophecies end at 320. Do you think players should get to 320? 500? 800? 1,000? 2,000? A million? Mike, what do you think? I, I, I think usually you consider, if someone says like, oh, I've got my corruption up over 300, I'm like, that's a very successful build. Um, you've done a good job, you're kicking butt, you're, you're like, you've hit all of the like points where things unlock, as you've mentioned, the three. EHG first said 200, they have now moved that goalpost to 300. So keep that in mind. You are successful at 300. 20 is where the prophecies stop changing. Um, I think 300 is where the last rank of, uh, when, when you finish a timeline, the last, uh, the, the fifth option unlocks for the blessing you get. Um, so like we, we don't we don't have anything that shows up in the game past that, that point. So roughly 300 is sort of like where we consider a successful build to happen. It doesn't mean that the builds won't push higher than that. Um, but that's where we sort of like uh, look at like time to time to unlock things to be reasonable um, for like you know people that are pushing those two thousand corruption. I've seen some that are ridiculous. Like that's the the, the time to get up that high is insane. Here it comes. Um, and usually uh, all the ones I've seen so far. I just say usually just in case there's not. But all the ones I've seen, um, they they've all been on builds where there's been a mistake we've made in the build. Um, and there's there's something that's interacting the way we never intended it to. For yeah, in fact, in, yeah. yeah, in fact, internally we call it a Leonidas. Back to lore. I did not know this. Our right, question: Who is narrating the cutscenes? Is it Gaspar? It is not Gaspar. It is the Observer, and I'm gonna leave the question there. <laughs> the narrator. Almost a little mean, but yeah. Is the Observer? That is very interesting. All right, everyone. Unfortunately, we have come to the final part of Dev Chat 129. Mike and Kyle, thank you so much for this Friday live stream. It was absolutely awesome, very entertaining and informative. Now, you're probably wondering about the thumbnail nuke dropped. You're about to hear it right now at the end of the stream. Kyle says something, gives us some information, and even Mike is like, oh, I didn't know you were going to do that. So enjoy that in one second. First, two asks. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it, but of course, only if you think I've earned it. If I haven't earned it, I'm going to work harder for you. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. I get asked all the time, what's the best way to support? And Patreon is it. You get access to the VIP lounge. You get access to exclusive content. You get access to movie night and game night and so many fun things over on Patreon. I'm done. Mike and Kyle, take it away. Do you have any any anything you want to add on to the end of this? Anything you were hoping to get asked that didn't get asked? Oh goodness. Um, 
I put in an Easter egg in End of Time and no one's found it. Oh my god. <laughs> You're just gonna drop that nuke and walk away? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm still sad that no one's found it. Oh my god. Well, on that awesome <laughs> revelation, because I get asked frequently if there's any Easter eggs um, I'm missing, and I say no. Unless, I mean, I, I mean, it's an Easter egg if it's something that's like, you know, from somewhere else in the game. Like, it's, it's not an Easter egg to something outside of the game. It's like, it's a secret. I should, I should say it's a secret in End of Time. All right. That's good. Uh, let's, let's, leave it there. let's leave it there. No, no, no more, if no more hints. If, I'm going to have to double check it if it's actually working, but do you want I haven't seen anyone talk about it. And see if, if you can see it. What was that? If I go to End of Time, will you be able to tell if it's there? Um. Hmm. You got to do some certain things to make it happen. Okay. Which is why I'm starting to wonder if, like, it just, you know, isn't working. <laughs> we, how about this? We, we will confirm for everyone that's going to go and hunt for this. We will confirm that it's working or not. <laughs> uh, and and we'll, we'll we'll post it somewhere in Ask the Devs or something like that. Just so, so that there's, like, a confirmation if this exists or not. Because I don't want to send people on a wild goose chase. We'll, we'll, we will confirm if this is working or not before everyone goes off and looks Hand for in it. Hand in chat. Hand in chat has said it is working last he checked. Okay. 